I really hope no one is watching this video. This is not the kind of thing you want to get wrong. It, it's really just basic understanding of inequalities. So let's read it. During a portion of a flight, a small airplane's cruising speed varied between 150 miles per hour and 170 miles per hour. Which inequality best represents this situation where S is the cruising speed in miles per hour during this portion of the flight? Well, just like, be really, really literal here. Okay, the speed, S, is between 150 and 170. Okay, that's literally what D just looks like, right? That it's between those two numbers, like literally in between them. So yeah, that's that's what we wanted to say. I don't even know why you would get these other answers. You'd have to just leave out like this makes no sense, right? Because why are we subtracting the two? I don't, I don't. The at the speed is is never going to be less than twenty because the speed has to be between one hundred and fifty and one hundred and seventy. Like they're not the s does not represent the difference in the speeds. Um, and then b and c, like why are you leaving out one of the numbers, right? So. I don't know. I don't know what else to say to drag this question out any longer. Maybe just as a reminder, um, <laughs> the the inequality symbol opens to the larger number. So this is saying S is less than 150 or technically less than or equal to 150. But in very few cases in the SAT, are you going to have to know the difference between the less than and the less than or equal to symbol? The reason here we want to use the the equal to symbol is that they never said not to include it, right? <clears throat> so they said the speed is between 150 and 175, uh, or varied between them, meaning that 150 and 170 are both acceptable. Um, so that's it. That's all we need there. I don't, I don't know what else to say. So please don't get these kinds of questions wrong. Uh, you know, know how inequalities work. Um, at most, at least, maximums, minimums, all that stuff could come up with inequalities. But it's not a very common topic on the SAT because it's usually wrapped into something else. So hopefully the, the something else is also fine for you.